Okay, now exercise 5.2b. The average height of 25 randomly selected female student in a class has been recorded as 152.5 cm with a standard deviation 6.9 cm. So, from the first tenton, we extract the information. So, the sample size 25 randomly selected female student. So, N equals to 25 and the average will be X bar equals to 152.5 cm and the standard deviation is 6.9 cm. Okay, next sentence. Is there any reason to believe that there has been a change in the average height in the present class as an average height 165.2 cm instead okay this one is the information there has been a change so equals and not equals average height notation is mu and the average height is equals to so here is mu not right <coughs> so the first step is your h null and h1 so step one the symbol is equals and unequal so equal will be h null unequal will be h1 the notation is mu equal unequal the values is 165.2, 165.2. Done step number one. Okay. Step number two. The test statistic. So which formula that you want to use? So look at here. Can we use formula number one? No, cannot because of sigma is not given. Can we use formula number 2? No, because of the n is less than 30. So, we can use formula number 3. So, the formula is... T test is equals to x bar minus mu naught over s over square root n. Okay, substitute of the values 152.5 minus 165.2 divided by S 6.9 divided by square root 25. Press your calculator, you will get negative 9.2029. Step number four, a uh, step, sorry, step number three, your critical value, one tail or two tail. So, because of the symbol equals and not equal, so this one will be two tail, okay, two tail, oops, sorry. Because of two tail, you will have two shaded region. Here is negative, here is positive. So T alpha over two because of two tail and the nu. Okay, T alpha is not given. So by default, alpha is 0 0.05. So, T 0 0.05 divided by 2. Nu is N minus 1. So, you will get T 0 0.025. Our N is 25 minus 1 is 24. So, look at your stat table. You will get 2.0639. So, you put here negative 2.0639. Positive 2.0639. <coughs> Go 
step number 3 step number 4 so step number 4 reject or accept H null look at your T test where is your T test is located negative 9 is it negative 9 in the shaded region or in unshaded region so negative 9 is here negative 9.2029 is less than negative 2 so it is in the rejection region so you have to reject H null since T test is equals to negative 9.2029 2029 is less than negative t 0.02524 equals to negative 2.639 reject h null so what happen if you reject h null so look at back here your step one you reject this h null so mu is not equals to 165.2 so there has been a change in the average height so step 5 at alpha 0 0.05 there is enough evidence to support that there has been a change in the average height mu is not equals to 165.2 centimeter it has been changes okay this one is an example for a two tail hypothesis so hope you can understand and can try the tutorial question on yourself.